Hey y'all, I'm back for cooking with Sasha. I have on the appropriate attire, my, my working scrub, chef's coat thingy, and I thought I should have a little fun with the hair out of my face thingy, so it's gonna bob a little bit. So you may have heard, I got sucked into, I got encouraged, I was, I was prompted to do the whole dinner arrives on your doorstep thing and you don't have to do anything, well, you do, you have to like cook. And they promised that it was easy and that everybody could do it. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the company I used because they're not sponsoring me, hello, and I don't want you to be, um, have some preconceived notion that it might not work because I'm sure it works for most people, but like everybody is in on this, y'all. From Martha Stewart, hello Martha, what, what's going on with that, you know? To like $47 per person, I didn't get that one. No, I had a discount. And that's gonna just bug me, is that gonna bug y'all? I had a discount for this one, it was like $21 for two meals, and I said $21, $10, two people. Okay, that's a good deal. So, I went ahead and ordered, and, and I already messed up. I ordered, I thought I ordered Juicy Lucy burgers, but, but that's not what showed up. So, somebody else, I just wanna know where my Juicy Lucy burgers went, because I apparently hit the wrong button. I tried really hard, but I ended up with um, apricot ginger chicken. <laughs> Ap apricot ginger chicken with roasted green beans and jasmine rice. You know, we just went to see Adladen, and I don't understand what jasmine rice is. is. Did she like create this? Did she? Is it from her town? I just, I don't understand. And I don't eat green beans. So this should be interesting. They've, it's a pretty picture. Let's see if I can show you the picture without showing you who it was from. Hang on, I can do that because I am multi-talented right here. See, it looks Delicious, except for those green beans. I ain't eating no green beans. And this, y'all, this is jasmine rice. I don't know what jasmine rice is, but we're fixing to find out. So they give you, they they tell you, they they say bust out. And I, you know, I'm like, what? Bust out what? And they tell you, because they're good like that, a peeler. Now, <laughs> right off the bat, the very first thing they say is a peeler. I'll show you. It's like the very first thing, peeler. And I'm um, like, um, I have a knife. I don't think I have a peeler. A peeler. Nope, don't have a peeler. Uh, a small pot, which I had. A baking sheet. That's what this is. I recognized it. Paper towels. I always have paper towels. We use way too many. A large pan. I don't know if that's like a skillet or a pot or whatever. A vegetable oil. I got, I got some vegetable, it is hot in here. I got some vegetable oil, but I gotta tell y'all a story. This is a store brand and it says pure olive oil. It's not olive oil, it's vegetable oil. I like the little bottle because it was easy to set out on the counter. So I just keep filling it up with like the cheap stuff. And one day Max saw me doing that and he said, that's not olive oil in there. I said, oh, heck no, the first time it was like four years ago, but now it's just regular old cheap canola oil, whatever. Um, butter, butter, everything is better with butter. Oh my goodness, not to crank down the air. And uh, kosher salt. Y'all know I got the blue box with the girl on it that says Morton. I, that's the only kind of salt I got. They should not be confusing me with kinds of salt and black pepper, so I got that. So I can see that this is gonna take multiple shots because, you know, like like y'all said, I should like let show like what I'm cooking. This is just me and a tripod and one camera. The 12 year old and the 60 year old are outside doing stuff so it's, i'm surprising them with dinner <laughs> y'all don't push me here so they put everything in a bag and it's like it comes in this bag and you open it up and the magic is in there the chicken chicken i recognize these as green beans hmm. not gonna eat them i don't do green beans okay so this is jasmine rice jasmine rice what was the other guy's name? I can't remember. He he should get, his, this should be his ginger. Oh, this is chicken. Wait a minute. This says chicken. Now, okay, I just gotta show y'all this. I'll cover up the name. This says chicken. Then what's under my finger is the brand name. This is not chicken. This is chicken. I recognize this as chicken. Um, hmm, can't wait to see what I use that for. Okay, so the first thing it tells me to do is prep. <sighs> prep? I just don't know about this. Adjust rack to top position and preheat oven to 425 degrees. Wash and dry all produce. Peel and mince or grate ginger. Oh, there's more stuff in the bag. Whew. 
Is this Ginger? Where is Mary Ann? Because let me just tell you, Ginger is not looking too good. This looks like some dried up root vegetable that you find in the cellar after a storm that you throw away. Look at this, y'all. This is Ginger. I, it looks, why would, and they want me to peel it and mince and grate it. Mince, they want me to mince it. I'm gonna mince it in the trash can. I guess that wouldn't be, hang on, what was this called again? Apricot ginger chicken. I'm gonna to have to have some wine. And this is apricot jam. Oh, apricot jam. So it's looking a little bit better. It's ginger though. <laughs> this is like something you're supposed to eat. I'm supposed to peel and mince the ginger, peel. I'm gonna use a knife and then mince it. What's that mean? Hmm, I think that means cut it up really fine. Okay, so I'm going to do those things because I have to prep. I'll be right back. Okay, they said to wash and dry all produce. Okay, that's like wash and dry in the washing machine. Of course not. I'm not quite that crazy, y'all. I know what that means. They should just say, just clean it. So I did. I washed and dried my green beans, but I'm not going to eat. I see some grapes. If all else fails, we'll have grapes for dinner. And then we got this, uh, this thing. I found this little thingy. I have no idea what it's for. It's some kind of peeler. I got it from Pamper Chef once upon a time. Mama had one of those little potato peelers, you know, and it was long and silver. Y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? She would just fly with it. I never could do that. So I'm going to attempt to do this and not take skin. I could be like Sweeney Todd or something. If y'all don't know what that is, that was when I was culturally fabulous and I was in like senior year of high school and I went to New York with a chorus. That's the only reason I really joined. And we went to see Sweeney Todd and I was affected for like years and I couldn't ever like go to a barbershop, but you'd have to know the movie. Anyway, so I'm supposed to peel this, and it's like the craziest thing ever. Huh, I guess it does sort of peel. Let me see here. I probably should like have this on some kind of board or something, but I can't be moving the... Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to stop and peel, apparently. I just don't know about this thing. I found some wine. Y'all, I went to the grocery store today. Not for these groceries, because these came here. And this is like a little individual size, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. It was like three bucks. It's probably not... Fabulous wine, but I don't care. It's Moscato and it's a little single serving size and I'll be all fancy and I will not drink it out of the bottle. It has a screw top, which is a plus, except I can't get it open because I think that's important in cooking with Sasha that we have some wine Moscato to go with it. Um, okay, oh, I got it open. I have wine glasses, but they're all the way over there and there's a unicorn coffee cup right here that I'm gonna use. Hmm. Thanks, Kate. So I, I'm gonna need some wine to get through cooking with Sasha. Hmm. I wonder how three dollar bottle of wine is not bad especially if it's in a unicorn coffee cup okay i'm gonna peel i'll be right back okay i'm back so while we were gone i um started the rice and then as i'm reading this it says um cook for 15 to 18 minutes and and keep covered until it's ready to serve which means I have 15 minutes to fix everything else. You know how much I'm, that is too much pressure. That's a lot of pressure. So now I'm gonna roast the green beans. While the rice cooks, toss the green beans on the baking sheet with a drizzle of oil, salt, and pepper. Y'all know a drizzle is never gonna work. So I've got my pan and these green beans that I'm not gonna eat. Maybe I can get my child to eat. I don't know. Tossing green beans on the pan. They're skinny green beans. Are they like those fancy French cut green beans or something? These are string beans. No, that's not it. String bean with some guy on Hee Haw. I think he got killed. That was awful. Okay, so now I got to drizzle them. Maybe it was somebody else. Drizzle them with olive oil. <laughs> yeah, drizzle, drizzle. <gasps> that was maybe too much. I, 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 don't, I don't think I drizzled. What is going on over there? I think my oven is the right temperature. I think I covered. I don't think I drizzled. Wonder if that's going to be okay. Drizzle, cover, the same thing, right? And then salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I have salt and pepper. My salt. My salt. What is with this salt? Wait a minute. I know how to solve this problem. Ha! You do this, and then you have like a pinch. Oh, it works much better that way. I'm all fancy. I'm doing like that pinch of salt thing, except it's called a palm of salt. That makes sense, right? So, okay. Now, those are ready. Well, that was easy. Um, roast on top rack until browned and tender, 12 to 15 minutes. My stove only has one timer. Fancy stove, one timer, six burners. What is up with that? Hang, y'all don't go anywhere. I'm gonna put these in the roasting oven. Okay, we're gonna use, hmm, there. We're gonna use the same timer. It's all on the ish. Ooh, there's a green bean that's extra. <laughs> that's going in the trash. Okay, next, next we gotta do this chicken. I cook chicken like four hours. There's no way. Fifth, <sighs> y'all. 
Pat Chicken Dry with paper towels seasoned all over with salt and pepper that I got. Heat a drizzle of oil. They're all about some drizzle. I'm just telling you, I'm all about some shizzle. I don't, I don't know about no drizzle. Heat a drizzle of oil in a large pan over medium-high heat. Why can't you just say medium? Why can't you just say high? Why does it have to be medium-high? People like me need you to say medium or high. I can't do the whole thing. Um, until it's cooked and browned three to five minutes per side. Turn off heat, transfer to plate. I'm glad they told me to transfer it to plate. Okay, so I have to um, take pat chicken dry with paper towels. Oh, raw chicken. I'm gonna have to Clorox the whole house. Raw chicken, okay, let me get a bunch of paper towels here. Hang loose a minute. Whew, it's raw chicken. Okay, I should have gotten gloves, that's all I got to say. I needed gloves. I should have gotten my plastic gloves. I did not. I'm using raw chicken, but it's all good, okay. Okay, okay, it's got, um, hmm. it's in this nice little sealed pack. They should have had a little opening section for people like me, but no, I'll have to cut it. Lucky for me, I got my scissors. Maybe there's a little peel back thingy. There should be a peel back thingy. How much time can I waste looking for the peel back thingy? Cause you know it's here. I found it. Smart people. Maybe that was just a mess up on the manufacturing okay I've given up on the peel back thingy and I'm gonna cut the chicken and I'm gonna pat it dry this is gonna freak me out I'll need to Clorox the entire kitchen at least oh my god now I gotta put the scissors oh the scissors have to be oh oh there's chicken juice in here chicken chick mmm mmm y'all mmm see my helps have this aversion to dying from chicken germs I'm telling you I just I just I need a fork oh, yeah let me get a fork I don't want to touch the chicken. I don't like to touch the chicken. Do y'all, is that weird? Oh my gosh. Oh, Well, oh, there's chicken juice, y'all. There's chicken juice in the pack. I can't, this might be a show, so I might have, to, right here Maybe it. This could be it. Let me throw this away. Let me get a biohazard suit and throw this away. Oh my goodness. Oh, ah. I must wash the water clock. Okay, okay. Now, they want me to pat it dry. They didn't say anything about, about washing it, cleaning it. I'm to assume that it's good inside that packet. I'm going with it. I'm just going with it. I'm not going to die from chicken germs tonight. No, I'm not. So, I have patted said chicken dry, and I'm using my fork. I'll show you. It's patted dry. See? It's patted. Pat, pat, pat. Okay, so now, and it says season all over with salt and pepper. Well, bye, grannies. I know how to do that now. I'm a pro. I just take this salt shaker pepper thing off and I put some in my hands just like this, you know, and then I put, this is called pinch of salt just in case y'all needed to know. So, okay, let's do both sides. Oh my, oh, y'all chicken, raw chicken. See, I'm looking for my Juicy Lucy burgers is all I'm saying is where, who's eating my Juicy Lucy burgers tonight? If I couldn't figure it out, there's bound to be people out there who couldn't. So now, now I'm going, I'm going to pause and I'm going to go get the whole oil thing in the skillet. I'll be back. Okay, we're back. This gives me a whole new appreciation for the camera crews for those cooking shows because this is a struggle. So I have put oil, olive oil, in the skillet on medium high heat, maybe. I don't know. It's, I don't want to catch anything on fire. It would be bad to put that over there. Okay, on, on medium high, it's like somewhere between high and somewhere between low, medium high. And now it's telling me to put the chicken in the grease. Okay, so I've never fried chicken in grease before, y'all. I am telling you, 56 years old, I don't fry chicken. I put it in the oven. I let my husband put it on the grill. Let him. <laughs> He's fried chicken. Okay, let's see what happens here. Nothing exploded. Okay, get the, get the chicken. Ooh. Okay, it's going to stick. Holy flipping moly. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, I have to Clorox that too. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Everything. Cloroxing. Cloroxing all the things. So everything's cooking right now, y'all. It's like the chicken's over here cooking for three to four minutes. I don't have a timer. Holy snap. I'll just have to talk to y'all for a little bit. This timer says six minutes. So in three minutes, I can turn this over. And it said three to five minutes per side. I don't know about y'all, but 
That doesn't seem like nearly enough. My rice is just sitting here doing nothing. I don't know. What's this supposed to be doing? Is this supposed to be doing something? It's just sitting there. There's some chicken cooking. So, um, and apparently green beans are doing something in the oven. Let me check. Yep, they're doing whatever they're doing. So I, I'm, I got six minutes left to get dinner on the table. <laughs> it's going great. It's going great. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to let this do its thing and I'll be back for the finished product. Oh my gosh. I made dinner. I'm going to be catering soon. Y'all yeah, just be prepared for that. <laughs> well, I think that's where the chicken was. And it's, look, look. Whoops, I may have shown something. It looks like, it looks like real chicken. And this is, is chicken, what is it called? Hang on. Stock concentrate and the apricot jam and the ginger for the um, apricot sauce. So I'm going to create that magic right now and show you. I can't believe I cooked chicken. Ginger off the cutting board into the skillet to cook. When it, <laughs> I shot it like all the way over there. Okay, I'm going to make... Hang on, let's see. It's supposed to be, I'm supposed to cook it until it's, it's fragrant. Let me smell. Let's see, cook until fragrant. I don't smell anything. I wonder what it's supposed to smell like. It's just 30 seconds. Heck, it's been 30 seconds since I shot that ginger across. Okay, I'm going to have to concentrate. Oh, wait. That's the chicken stock. <laughs> My Lord, y'all, there's stuff happening. It's, it's supposed to make, I forget. I don't know. Make sauce. So, I poured in water and the apricot jam and the, the whatever it was and and at the it's supposed to get thickened and it's looking kind of like dirty water right now like that aladdin rice needs some dirty water i don't know my aladdin rice oh my beans holy snap ha ha you get it snap beans to there they look like if you ate green beans they don't look half bad i don't need green beans it's supposed to cook hang on um cook stirring until thickened one to two minutes i must not be doing something right because well, it's not been a minute yet. Okay, I'm stirring. How long? You gotta just stir continually? That seems ridiculous. And it's supposed to thicken. And this is the sauce. There's ginger. You think that's minced? You know, in the picture it looks much finer, but I just chopped them up a little bit. Those are those ginger pieces. Okay, all this is coming together. It's all, y'all, it's all coming together. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's coming together. Okay, so one last shot of everything before I plate it. It said to plate it. I feel so fancy. It said to plate it. There's my rice. My Aladdin rice. There's my green beans. And here's the sauce I made. Y'all, I made sauce. Yes, I made this sauce from scratch. Yes, I did. I didn't open a jar or anything. I opened a packet, but they correct. I made this sauce from scratch. So here's my plate. I have plated my chicken. I'm going to put it all together, and then y'all going to see it. I got to cook a grilled cheese and some soup for the kid because she looked at this and said, I, can I have something else? Yes, baby. I only ordered the box for two. Oops. Okay, y'all, my adventure in cooking with a box is over. And I will show you how I made it. Look, and I can't switch the camera. What is up with that? I had to take off the bouncy headbands. It's hurting my head. So I have, hang on, hang on. I have plated this. Whoops. I have plated this. Since it wouldn't let me switch the camera, I turned it off by accident. I have plated this with green beans for mine, simply for phot photography. And like a real person, I'm going to donate my green beans to somebody who likes them. But there we have it, y'all. And right there is my wine in my unicorn coffee mug. It makes me complete. So, so will I do that again? Might. I'll be sure that I double and triple check what I'm ordering. I'm looking for my Juicy Lucy burgers. I'm just telling you. So we're going to sit down to dinner with my home-cooked meal and see how it is. Y'all have a glorious day until the next episode of Cooking with Sasha debuts. Bye.